Hi guys, David here, and today I want to talk about using Final Cut Pro X and basically copying your edits for certain clips. So if you have done a lot of edits to one clip and then maybe you're going on to your next clip, but you want it to be, you know, the same as you're not going to have to go into each one. And then, you know, if you change the color or, you know, exposure or things like that, anything really to that clip, you're not going to want to have to do that for every single clip, especially if you have, you know, several clips that are kind of similar, you're going to want to be be able to copy that across the board and when I first started using Final Cut Pro um, I was having to do that um, maybe there was the setting back then but um, I got frustrated with with doing that so if you were just starting out in Final Cut Pro X and you're not sure how to do that uh, that's what we're gonna do here today so um, let me just let me just open up a new project um, I'll just create a new project here. I'll just name that test. Say you're working on a clip that was similar and it's, you know, sliced up, you know, and maybe it's pretty much almost exactly the same. See, this looks like just one clip, but they are three separate clips now. So if you did some edits to this first section and, you know, change the color, you know, tweaked it a little bit, maybe a saturation, maybe you, you know, brought the saturation down. So you're not going to want to actually go in. Okay. Now the next clip I see is totally different than the first clip. So you're not going to want it like I used to have to go back I didn't do a lot of uh, editing to it, but I would have to go back to the first clip and check all the effects and make sure they're the same. So I would have to go in here and see, oh, the saturation was, you know, negative 26 percent. Then I would have to copy and go to the next clip. Then I go to the saturation and make that 26%. So you're not going to want to have to do that. So basically what you would do is you just go to the first clip and then, you know, just on a Mac, just hit command C to copy it, or you can just go to file, go to edit and copy. Then on the next clip, select that one and then we're going to paste go ahead edit and you're going to paste but if you go down here there's a lot of different you know things that you can do so paste effects if you go paste effects it'll just automatically paste everything but you can also let me just undo that if you go back to edit we can do uh paste attributes and if we do that, it brings up a dialog box so you can choose what to include and what not to include. So if there was a crop, um, you could include the crop and a lot of these different, different things. And the same thing goes for if you wanted to say you have several clips and you're like, oh, I don't want to go to each one. So then you can just select them all. So I'll do a shift click and I'll just go edit, paste, attributes, and then hit paste. So now if I go through these, this clip here is going to be the same as this clip here and the same as this clip here. So that just makes it so much easier to be able to paste those in. Um, so you can't just, you know, hit copy and then go over here and hit paste. You'll need to make sure that you go over to copy. Then when you're pasting it, go to edit. And then 
you go down here to, like I said, to paste effects or attributes. So that is just a quick video I wanted to share with you in case you're having any issues um, that I hope this helps. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and we will see you guys in the next video.